If you're going to have a party with the Fongtron in your living room, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up the server side component. Um, now for this demonstration I'm using Ubuntu um, 16.04 as my operating system and the quickest way to get this going is to use the Docker container I've created. A little later I'm also going to show how you can set this all up uh, without using Docker just on your base operating system. Uh, this will also run in OS X just fine both in a Docker container or just on the bare operating system. It is just a Node.js project, so the dependencies for this uh, can really be met on a lot of systems. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here is just make sure that my repos are up to date. So this is how we do that on Ubuntu. And now the second thing here. Um, for setting up Docker, I'm going to add this key here. I'm actually just, uh, there's a lot of tutorials on how you can set up Docker. I'm going to go through it real quick. Um, I'm actually following along with a tutorial on DigitalOcean. Um, highly recommend them if you're going to host this up in the cloud somewhere. That's a great service for getting a, uh, just a very simple um, hosting solution that will not cost you an arm and a leg. So now, actually we're going to go ahead and run sudo apt get update yet again now that we've added to our sources here. And I'm guessing some of this here is just to kind of make sure that we've got the latest and greatest Docker. I'd be kind of surprised if it's not just in the Ubuntu repos already, some version of it. But we're going to go ahead and do it this way just to make sure. So that there, we're running the app git install, we're actually installing docker there. And now um, let's just use the old systemd and make sure it's up and running. So moment of truth. Okay, so slight uh, demo hiccup there. Um, important that you're going to want to do sudo docker ps. Sudo make me a sandwich as the joke goes. Um, I forgot that there, so that was what was throwing me off. Um, this were, if we're, the point of this was to set up docker properly. There's some steps we could take to remedy that, but that's not really what we're trying to do here. So with that set up, we're just going to do sudo docker pull and we're going to pull Chris Weininger slash Fongtron. And that is going to take a little bit of time here. Now that that's done, let's just check that it shows up here. So we're going to do sudo docker images, and sure enough, there it is. So we're just going to start this guy up with sudo docker run. And we're going to go ahead and start it as a daemon. And we're going to expose a port here. So by default, uh, this guy runs on 3002. So we're going to expose that and go ahead and just map that to 3002 on the host as well. And that is, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. And that image is called Chris Weininger slash Fongtron. 
So if all goes well there, we should be able to check the logs and see that it's running here. So Docker logs, catch T, we'll do, let's see, we called that Fong Tron container, maybe. Check it here. Oh, sudo. Gotta remember the sudo here. So let's sudo check the logs. And there we go. The server is up and listening. So that is good news. What you want to do is have a display server. So with the Fongtron we have a display server which is basically in the gallery that's the thing that everybody's looking at it's going to generate the sound and it's what everybody's interacting against uh, it's actually a pretty simple though simpler than it sounds all that really is is just a machine that's running a web browser that's pointed at that server that we just set up so in this case I've already got that IP um, like I said you might want to spin the server up on a digital ocean droplet or something where you can give it an actual domain name but for the purposes of this I've just got this uh, virtual machine running here on my network and this IP address is where we just set up that backend server so now I'm just going to go to that in this case 192.168.1.119 and I'm going to important to note there port 3002 that's the port that we set it up on and I'm going to go to slash display.html so that slash display.html makes this the display server now if this were an installation or if I had some people over I might put this up on a big screen television and make it full screen uh, just to test this out here real quick I'm gonna do a new tab and quick way to test this on your browser is you can go ahead and do uh, developer tools um, we're gonna need to do it this way because we need to emulate touch events for this to work properly so we're making sure we're in emulation here and then we're gonna go to the same address with the 3002 but this time we're gonna leave out the display.html and so now I don't know if you can hear that there um, let's turn that up a bit. So, as you can see there, ah, sound settings, that would help. That's going to be really loud if I don't turn that down. There we go. That sounds nice. Working. We have a display server and we have a client.